Hello, this podcast is designed to help you do the uh, kinetics, modeling chemical kinetics mini lab. So I'm going to walk through the introduction for you just a little bit. You should read this carefully on your own. But as it suggests here in chemical kinetics, we care about the rate of reaction. And we're really looking at how the concentration of one or more reactants changes over a period of time. And mathematically, we're going to use a little bit of calculus called differential equations. To, to solve these kinds of problems. So here's a typical uh, kinetics equation. We have some chemical called A and it's turning into B and what we are interested in is the rate of, of how quickly A turns into B and that's represented by uh, the letter K. We can represent this uh, as mathematics by saying the change, and that's what that delta there thing is, the change in the concentration of A, the brackets there mean concentration of A, they don't mean something in Mathematica, um, is influence as time changes, delta T. And we have a mathematical equation for that that says the change in A over time is equal to minus K times the concentration of A. And it's a minus because A is getting smaller. Think about that. A is going away. It's not getting more. B, on the other hand, is also changing over time and a, B is getting bigger, so there's a sort of a plus sign right there. Uh, it's getting bigger by the formula K times times A. And usually for typesetting purposes we use a D instead of a delta, so the notation looks like that, and that we would call that DA DT or DB over DT. And so uh, you want to read, so these are what's called differential equations. We call these coupled differential equations because if you notice there, we have a thing called Ka in the one equation and we have a thing called Ka in the other one. So these are coupled uh, differential equations. Now, the calculus, the, the math of this is pretty hard. Those of you who are in calculus will recognize this. We have to use something called integral calculus to be able to do this. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to use Mathematica instead uh, to, to help us do this. So I'm going to do, you're going to be asked in this mini lab to do uh, a number of, of sample models and I'm going to do the simple one for you and then you should be able to figure out how to do the other one. So I'm going to do model one and uh, I'm given some, some data there. I'm starting out with a concentration of A, that's what A0 there is. That means at the beginning of the experiment the concentration of A is, is 2 moles. The concentration of B is 0 moles and the rate constant is 0 0.5 per minute. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, and write this. So I'm going to start out by saying um, there's my rate constant and I'm going to leave my units out for now and I'm going to put in there I'm going to run this, uh, I'm going to have something called total time and I'm going to run this thing for this experiment for 30 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and put those numbers in there and I'm going to evaluate that cell. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the solution to the problem and for every model I'm going to call my solution solution. Okay, I'm going to, and that's what I'm going to use every time. So once you get one of these models built, you should be able to copy and paste and just change a few things and that's going to be the trick is figuring out what do you need to change. So my solution is going to be, I'm going to use a built-in Mathematica thing called ND solve and that's a differential equation solver. I'm going to put a square bracket there. Notice there's going to be no space there. I'm going to hit a space here so I make this thing look pretty. Okay, I'm going to put a curly bracket and the first thing I want to solve is I want to solve for A. That's the capital A. I'm going to use a little a and I hope you understand why because we don't want to use capital letters for variable names in Mathematica. So I'm going to use a little a there and I'm going to use a single quote. It's on the keyboard to the right right under your double quotes and that A is a function of time. Okay, so that's how I write that differential equation dA over dt in Mathematica. I'm going to hit a space bar. I'm going to hit two equal signs because this is a solver. I'm going to hit a space. And notice what happens to the two equal signs. Then I'm going to say minus k. I'm just coding in my, my equation here. Space, okay, a bracket t. So what that's saying is solve 
uh, the differential equation dA over dt being equal to minus k times at. Okay, I'm going to put a comma there and I'm going to do the same thing for, for b. So b prime is what we do, that's a single quote. Square brackets t, double equals sign, and that's going to be k space a t. So what you should see here is I'm just coding the equations that I have uh, for this particular uh, for this particular model. Okay, I'm going to hit a comma. Okay, my next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to say a at time zero, and that's a zero in there, is double equal to two. And where did I get that 2 from? I got that from that A starts out at, at 2 moles, okay? And, oops, I don't want a semicolon there. I'm sorry, I want a comma. And what do I want it for B? B at time 0 is double equal to a 0. And again, I'm getting all that data from the problem right above. I'm going to close my curly bracket here, okay? But I'm not quite done yet. I'm going to do a, a comma. And what I want to say now is I want to solve this for A and B. So that's what that's saying there. I'm solving this for A and B. I do a comma. And I'm going to say I want to run this model from time starting at 0, going to total time. Total time was 30. I defined that up above. Again, curly brackets, comma. I'm almost done. And then I'm going to say max steps hyphen, greater than sign, space, and I'm going to type the word infinity. And so that's going to uh, give me lots of steps here. It'll take a little bit to run. I'm going to hit a return, and then I'm going to close my square bracket. Okay, so that's how you do the, how you set up a calculation for solving these differential equations. What you're going to do in the subsequent models is you're simply going to change these things here and if you have something called C, then you'll add C. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and evaluate this. It's going to give me some very strange notation here. And you just need to ignore that. Okay, so we've solved our differential equation, but we don't know what it looks like. So now I'm going to say I want to plot this thing. Okay, and I want to plot. I wanted to evaluate the plot. Okay, square bracket. And then curly bracket, I wanted to plot A sub T. And I want the plot B sub T. Okay. I'm going to close my square bracket, or my curly bracket. Okay. I'm going to do a slash period, and then I'm going to say the word solution. So it will evaluate it based on what the solution is. Comma. I'm going to plot it from T from zero to total time. Close my curly bracket, and I want my plot range hyphen greater than sign space to be all. Close my square bracket, evaluate that, and you get your graph, okay? What you should notice here is this is A is in blue. Notice how A decreases over time. Blue, uh, B is in red. Notice how B increases over time, okay? And I could change it to, I could go up here and change my total time to 10 minutes, evaluate my whole notebook, and I get something a little bit you can see how we're about at about, what is that, about the uh, almost the two minute mark. The concentration of A and the concentration of B are just about the same. I'm going to go back up here and put this back up at 30, evaluate my whole notebook, and be able to go from there. Okay, so what are you going to do for the next part? Okay, I'm going to copy all of this stuff. Okay, I'm going to copy all my commands. I'm going to copy them. I'm going to go down here to Model 2. Okay, and I'm going to paste that in there, okay, but, and I'm going to get rid of my output here, okay, but now for model two, what are you going to have, okay, you've got something new here, you've got something called C, so you're going to have to add that here, you have a K1, you're going to have to make that happen here, you have a K2 here, you're going to have to put that there, okay, your total time can still be 30 minutes, okay, whatever the case may be, but you're going to have to make some repairs here. Okay, so you're going to have to add something here. And you're going to have to add something here. And you're going to have to add something here. 
and down here you're going to have to add something there so you're going to have to figure out what all that is okay i hope this helps good luck with this mini lab